Hey, AJT fam, we're going to go over, you know, our morning today, do our little recap. But before I do, I need to share with you a message here. You know, I introduced this to you a couple of weeks ago, but I want you to understand just how important, you know, this is and why we celebrate our trading errors. Now, again, if, if you're making the same error over and over and over and over again no we're not celebrating that that leads us to another element to our, our mentoring sessions um and some of you have experienced that already but those of you i love for you to share your trading errors because they're learning experiences this is where we learn okay you got to understand we have a two-tiered belief system where that that keeps us going when we make mistakes when we start to practice and we start making mistakes when we get the theory down it's in our minds it's easy you know we can execute this we can do this then we start to practice and we start learning some things during practice but then we start to see our errors and the things that we're doing wrong that we need to fix so these are the mistakes that we make and me as an as an educator as a coach as a mentor you know and, and everybody that's supporting you they're gonna tell you okay we believe in you you know and of course you like to hear that but that's on the surface when the challenges hit when you get deep into your your practice and your hands-on stuff and you're starting to make mistakes and you're gonna need something deeper than that okay that's not gonna keep you and and hold you and and get you through the hard times okay this belief is born in challenges it's born in all of the challenges that you go through it comes from working your way through the challenges and that's what i'm here to help you with get through those challenges so that you develop that second tier of belief in yourself you're not going to keep believing me if i keep saying oh you can do it i believe in you and then you keep ending up in the same place over and over and over again that's not going to help you so you learn from these mistakes you take these mistakes these challenges and as you overcome them, you're gonna you're gonna have developed that deep rooted belief in yourself that you can handle any and everything that comes your way. And it's not gonna be that belief that makes you throw caution to the wind. No, I'm talking about a solid, deep rooted belief in your ability to execute. And that's what we need here in trading. So, and, and it's, it's almost like that life or death type of belief. You know, you're, you're busting your tail and you're trying to work through your, you know, these challenges. And you're like, hey, if I don't get this, that's it. It's over for me. It's life or death. And that's how, it's, that's what's going to happen. And that's going to help you you get that that deep-seated belief you know think about and, and what made me think about this is I was watching that movie um, the USS Indianapolis and it talks about you know all of those the survivors that that had to you know endure watching their friends getting picked off by sharks um, you know their shipmates their brothers in arms and what it took for them to last long enough to get rescued. Okay, they were able to do things that they did not think they could do. Or they felt like they couldn't do. And that would get them depressed if they had to think about it. But they worked through it. They learned quickly how to adapt and how to make it and how to survive. And that's kind of what you're drawing on here. You're drawing on that 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 type of um, 
that type of belief system. All right, so that's what I wanted to share with you. This is what we're going to be working on. This is the type of belief system that we're going to be working on when we when we start that the the uh, trader mindset. You know, it's all part of my trader mastermind series. Everything to get your you mentally ready to go in and nail the market every day. All right, so let's talk about our morning. You know, I've avoided that long enough. Um, so here's NVIDIA. We uh, got the we got the um, opening range breakout, which, you know, got us a base hit. We got halfway to our level and then came back and ended up being a base hit. Then I decided, okay, we're bouncing. So let me jump back in and, and see if we can ride this volatility back up. Um, we had a flash up here and then it started selling off. But I didn't anticipate it to wash out. So my wife was leaving. I had to go help her get some stuff in the car. By the time I came back, I lost I lost my my stop. Alright, I didn't put a hard stop in because I don't normally do that. But I lost, you know, I, I lost it. So unfortunately, um I had to, to, to readjust, you know, I, I had to readjust my, um, and let me change, I need to change this. I had to readjust my stop and go back and look at, okay, let's look at the trend here. You know, we are trending up. So, you know, let's look at the trend. Which at this at this point was right here. All right, so I'm looking at this trend, and I'm like, well, we're holding the trend. We're still trending up. So let me, you know, let me just hang on to it. I've already got messed up. Let me hang on to it and see if we can continue to trend up. Well. You know, we bounced and, and it started, but look, it rejected here. All right. And then we came back. I lost all that support. So I had to bail out. But this is not a debilitating loss. Okay, it's not. This is not an account blower. This is not a deal breaker. Do I feel bad about it? Yeah. Am I upset? Mm not so much because I never put in a hard stop and I didn't anticipate being gone as long as I was but you know I accept that responsibility and I know that this is not that the be all end all okay I know I'm gonna learn from this and I'm not gonna make this same mistake twice but did I execute this properly? Yes. Once I made that error, I executed this properly and I took the trade off when I should have. Now, could I have been stubborn and held on to it? And look, I'd be in profit now. You know, or working on being in profit now. No, I took it off and now we're building back up. Now I'm back in the trade. I'm ready to make some money here. So I've already locked in some profit. I'm waiting for it to get back up here toward 433.75. Um, and then I'll look for it to break out. But it's all about not letting your mistakes derail you. Not getting mad at yourself. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to overlook things sometimes. Things are not going to go the way we want them to. So we have, we have to have the mindset that allows us to stay engaged and stay 
at a high level of execution and be able to determine are we able to stay engaged because if we're not then we need to walk away and we have to be able to determine do we need to walk away at this point are we have we destroyed our confidence for that day so bad that we need to just stop and then you know re-engage at some point so that's um the the key here that's the lesson here all right and again this is what we're going to be teaching what i'm going to be teaching you is how to execute like this and if you do have a trading area if you do take a bigger loss than normal how is not the end of the world how is not going to destroy you as long as you maintain you know your discipline and regain focus then you're going to be able to you know manage so the next trade we took was microsoft um i was looking for the reversal here here we got in it bounced took profit at the nine that's our goal it pulled back stopped decided to break even you can see it's kind of hung under the nine now it's starting to rip up through the levels uh, for a full arm reversal but this is just unfortunate sometimes we get the reversal and it makes it all the way back <clears throat> to the VWAP here sometimes it fails at the nine which is why I always take profit there and just kind of flat lines but I was not buying it because there wasn't enough room anymore for me to make any profit in between these levels. So it was time for me to just um, let it go. So that's the morning. You know, yeah, it's been challenging. But is the day over? No. I'm nailing the trades that give me the opportunity. I'm being patient. I'm nailing the opportunities the market's giving me here. We hit the next target on NVIDIA. I'm nailing the opportunities that the market's giving me. So the next target, I'm going to make a, a range order. But the next target, the final target for me is 435. That was the final target. Um the last time so my the very first trade I took that was my final target so it's still gonna be my final target if it makes it my stop at this point is back toward my first profit target so to be 431.50 And that's the profit stop. And so now this trade is on autopilot. We are trying to come out of lunch. There's a lot of things that's trying to happen here. If you guys were trading Tesla, you know, Tesla finally, you know, broke out over here. Look at the channel that it put in. master range break right there bam so that's it guys um i hope you take this message to heart and be ready when we get started on this because the difference between you being successful and being a consistently profitable trader and achieving whatever your goal is in trading is between your two ears. It's developing the right mindset so you could come in and you can kick ass and take names. That's what this is all about. So have a great rest of the day. We're going to hang around and see. You know, you never know what this market's going to do, what kind of breakouts we're in store for. Um, 
So we just sit back, be patient, and if it triggers, we go to work.